Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Tuesday, June 18th, 2019. And as you wake up and you start this brand new day, thank God for this day and commit this day to Him. Use this day to bring glory and honor to our Lord. And use this day to share your faith with someone and encourage somebody. And while you're at it today, give God praise because he is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our worship. He is worthy of our thanksgiving. Our scripture reading today is taken from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter number 10. And it's verses 10 and 11. Scripture says, For his letters, say they, are weighty and powerful, but his bodily presence is weak and his speech contemptible. Let such a one think this that such as we are in the word by letters when we are absent such will we be also indeed when we are present friends these words of paul made me start thinking about about how specifically i live my life and and i want to challenge you to take a look at something important in your life paul's critics here at the church at corinth is is basically challenging him saying that that in his letters to the church in his letters are bold he is very strong in his words he is very strong in his discipline he is very strong in his his commands that he's given them but they're saying when he comes he's weak because he's frail and and they were challenged and saying it's he's different he's so bold when he's not here but when he's here in front of us face to face he's the exact opposite and paul is challenging them he's saying he's saying here in, in verse 11 that how they are in his letters when he's absent is how he's going to be when he's present looking at them face to face so the challenge that i had today when i was reading this and when i was studying this is the fact of am i the same person when i'm in public when i am preaching the word when i am doing broadcasts like this when i am witnessing to somebody or when i'm counseling somebody am i the same person then as i am when i'm sitting in my easy chair recliner watching the tv food network at home Am I the same person? Do I put on one face when I'm in front of people? Do I put on another attitude and face when I'm when I'm in private? Friends, it should be one and the same. No one should be able to say, Well, you saw the you saw the public Gary, you never saw the private Gary. And I challenge you to think about your life and the way that you're living your life. Are you the same when you're with people as you are when you're by yourself at home? Are you the same as when you're worshiping God in church and praising God in church as you are when you're sitting at home? Or do you put on one front when you're in front of Christians and another front when you're in front of secular people, people in the world? Do you put on one front when you're, when you're, when you're with a Christian and do you act a totally different way when you're outside the church? Paul's saying they gotta be one and the same and he's saying that his, his his speech is going to be just like his letters when he stands before that church at Corinth. And we need to make sure that we live the same, whether we're in front of people or whether we're by ourselves. You know, I've read somewhere online a statistic that said for men, for Christian men, that pornography is one of the biggest things that derail their faith. You know, it's so easy when you're sitting there in your computer by yourself to be able to go to places you shouldn't go. Friends, we need to get away from that. We need to be the same when we're at home in private as we are when we're in public. We need to be the same when we're with Christians and when we're with with people that hasn't been saved yet. Are you living a double life today? Think about that as you go through this day. And remember, get into God's Word and allow God's Word to get into you. And then share that Word with someone today. Have a blessed day. (laughs) 